Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we're on page two of No Trevi. Um, it's a Chow Bella collection, and this is a very simple page. We have two flaps, they're both the same size, five by seven and a half. So it's five by seven and a half. You're gonna score a half inch on the seven and a half inch side, and you're gonna do that two times. So we're gonna have one of these flaps come up from the bottom and one from the top down, and they're gonna overlap each other a bit. So I'm just lining up. My pockets are to the left and right, lining up my page on the grid. And I think I'm gonna come in, I'm trying to decide how much overlap I want. Um, let's see, I'm trying to decide an inch or a half inch. And it's really just about the visual. And I think I like it an inch in. So I'm gonna use my grid to help me line up the uh, one inch over from the right hand side. And then I'll do the same thing for the top down. I'm going to come in one inch from the left hand side. Because these overlap and they're offset, precision doesn't really matter. So I'm going to turn it upside down. I'm going to do the same thing, line up my grid. I'm going to come in an inch and lay down this flap. Again, this flap is five by seven and a half. And you're going to score a half inch on that seven and a half inch side. So you have a five by seven finished flap. Okay, and then we are going to use a magnet to hold these two things together. I'm using 5 8 inch tape to hold these in place. And to, well, to cover them actually, to soften the edges. There we go. And so those are the two interactive components of page two. I'm going to line up my papers and we will decorate this in just a minute. Be right back. Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create and I have the, um, the B-sides ready for page two. So I'll show you what I chose. Just two very simple uh, patterns. Uh, well, it's actually the same pattern and I'm gonna split it. So let's see. Oh, I don't have these inks, so it's just going to be a minute. Sorry, I thought I had done that already. That slows me down a little bit. But all in all, this is a very simple album. As you can see, just by the timestamp on the videos, they're really quite short. Um, they're not very complex. This is a great album for a beginner. And there's a few techniques in there, but it's pretty darn straightforward. Okay, I'm going to start by doing um, the panel down here. I'm just checking my orientation, and everything looks good. This is really hard to cover up, but I wanted a simple pattern for the mats for photos. And the, the top is so has is such a statement I thought the inside could be a little bit more simple. Let's see this is the right direction. Okay, I was just looking at my lettering, make sure I had it in the right orientation. I always bring the paper to me instead of reaching across. Um, I think that's a better teaching method, but also I think I get a better result. Um, my papers go on straighter if I can see um, at least two of the edges, or the two corners and three of the edges to get it centered. 
So I always, I frequently check and double check my uh, designer paper orientation before putting it down. Okay, this is so pretty, this blue. And I don't know what kind of leaves they are, but they kind of um, remind me of some of the eucalyptus we have here locally. Isn't that pretty? The blue and the blue, it stands out against this tan background. That's it for page two, everyone. Like I said, this is a very simple album, great for a beginner. If you've been trying to work up the courage to work on an album, this is the album for you. I'll be back soon with page three.